Now to Rwanda sports industry, Rwandan teams have showcased exceptional skills and determination on day two of the Rwanda Mountain Gorilla Rally. These are ranking among the top ten overall, just a day away to the end of this competition. William Evans has more. Like day one, it was also not just about the competition, but a celebration of passion, speed, skill, and the fearlessness of different riders in this competition. We talked to some of the riders before breaking a sweat for the last round that crowns day two. We want to break the record for ARC wins consecutively. We want to break the records for consecutive wins for the international rallies that are uh, around the Africa Championship, you know, so Rwanda being one. If we win this one, we'll be three in a row. So far, so good towards our hat trick, but uh, it's not over yet. So we wait. So far, so good. The, the, the track is good. And uh, the best thing about, uh, we, about uh, going uh, almost last is that you, s you find that uh, other drivers clean the road. <laughs> they they show you like you 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 watch their tires where their tires pass. We hope we sustain the, the lead ahead of Gakwaya uh, to clinch the Rwanda Rally Championship for 2024. We're having some troubles with our choke absorbers, the rear ones. Uh, we hope to fix it now and to continue the same way. Uh, so far, we are not doing so so bad. Uh, we are trying to to do to do a, a serious chase up. Here yeah, there is Queen. Ah, uh, there is uh, the guy with the N10, this new one. From the time this competition started, there has been zero accidents recorded, although several teams have faced technical challenges with their cars, with some being forced to not complete day two. The president of Rwanda Automobile Club says this is common and wants to stop drivers from continuing with the race tomorrow. Uh, no challenge really, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's our sport, the nature of our sport, so as you have seen some of the cars uh, face technical challenges, but that happens in motorsport, so they will try to repair their cars if they are capable of finishing uh, by the end of the day, they can uh, race again tomorrow, but other than that, everything is perfect. Due to time limitations, the race was reduced to only seven sections, whose overall results are as follows. Day two ended with Patel Karan from Kenya in position number one, followed by Mukula Mike Jr. from Uganda in the second position after beating Davite from Rwanda, who maintained this position for the six sections but missed section seven due to his car getting technical issues. Kananjili Christian is in the third place, while Sanchania from Kenya and Mtevinasa from Uganda are in the fourth and fifth positions, respectively. This means three Rwandan teams are among the top ten overall. Kananjil in position 3, Gakoya Jean Corrod in the 6th position, and Queen in position 10 and is the only female driver in the competition. William Evans, Mutawazi, RTV News.